All right guys, so uh, this is a box that we just got from our uh, taxi driver. Uh, it is a Seaglow 6 box, uh, but unfortunately this is the actual fake box, and we know that it's fake. Uh, we just, in order to get in the good graces with the taxi driver and everything like that, we like to hook him up. He, you know, he does favors for us, uh, exchanging money, uh, taking us to local places, stuff like that. So um, this is basically uh, in order to keep him in our good graces. Uh, but we just kind of wanted to show you guys the difference between a fake box and a real box of Seaglow 6. So this is the actual real box of Seaglow 6. If you take a look at it, it's got the stamp on the front. It's got the, uh, the stamp up here with the holograph and uh, the serial number. Um, you'll also notice the differences in between the two outside boxes is that you'll see that this is a little bit more bold than this one is. So that's kind of a, not necessarily a dead giveaway, um, but it is a giveaway. And you'll also notice on the bottom that these stamps are not even, they don't even say the same exact thing. They're not the same exact size. So that's also a dead giveaway. So the other thing you'll notice is on this particular box, it doesn't come with any of the stamps that you'll see on the outside of a real box. That's because it's all on the inside. So we'll, as we open this up, we'll take a look at this. So if you notice this stamp, completely fake. Um, completely off center. If it was a true 2018 or 2019 uh, number, this would either be in a, starting the 300s or the 400s, and it is not even close. So, actually, I say high 300s, but that's not even close. Um, this one, this particular sticker would go across the top corner here. Um, it's actually not too bad, except for if you look really closely, you can see the ink uh, is kind to kind of smeared uh, on that particular one. But that's actually not too bad. Um, this in particular came with it as well. This actually looks authentic, which is kind of uh, mind boggling. But um, I just haven't looked at one of these uh, in a real box in quite some time. So uh, I'll have to check uh, when we open another Cohiba box to see if that's actually particularly the same. So getting into the nitty gritty, this is what a particular fake box of Cohibas look like. So then if we take one out, you'll notice that it's, it's real soft. Um, which in some cigars you'll, you, you can uh, kind of expect that, but this is actually uh, particularly too soft. Um, if you look at the roll, it's not necessarily a very consistent roll. Um, the filler is just kind of uh, bundled up on one side, uh, bundled up on this side, which will probably make for a really bad draw. Um, one of the things you'll notice is the cap. Uh, the cap is not um, triple cap. Uh, it looks like it might be double or single, but um, really not a very good cap, and it feels kind of, um, feels kind of sensitive. Like uh, if you squeeze it a little bit, it might actually come off. And that's not the uh, the worst part. The worst part is the band. If you look at the t the Tano head, um, the Tano head has, has no white. It has no hologram. Uh, in this gold part down here, you have no holograms of the Cubas of the Tano head, uh, and the Habana is pretty much off center, and um, maybe even in a different font than the actual uh, legitimate ones. So. Um, You'll also notice up here on the top where the white squares are, these are actually off center as well. You'll notice on a, on a real Cohiba that these are all uh, spaced accordingly. But, um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the, uh, so yeah, that's kind of the gist of um, kind of how to easily spot a, a fake Cohiba. But um, like I said, we bought these for about $100 for a box of 25 and we know that they're fake. I don't need anybody telling me, oh, you got green goat or you got, uh, you shouldn't be buying fakes or whatever, but um, we have, we've actually smoked one of these before, and to be honest with you, it wasn't that bad. Um, it's just not uh, the quality that you would like out of a Cohiba. But, um, so anyway, we bought these from our taxi driver uh, to keep in his good graces, and uh, we'll just kind of keep them in our back pocket when we want to smoke something, uh, particularly down here in Cuba or when we get back home for, you know, just social reasons and everything like that. But. For demonstration purposes, I wanted to show you guys what the difference was between a fake Cohiba and a real Cohiba box. Um, 
So I'm not gonna open this particular box because um, I'm not gonna open it. This is a single six box I'll probably hold on to for quite some time. But as you'll notice, you'll see the holograms uh, here in the Habana uh, stamp, Republica de Cuba. And then you'll also notice if you get with a, a sharp magnifying glass, you can see the serial numbers inside this as well. And you'll see that the, uh, the serial number actually starts with a four uh, because it is a 2018 box. You also notice on the bottom that this is actually stamped in or burned in. See, so actually you can actually feel that to the touch. Uh, same with the uh, Sigla Six insignia here. But uh, yeah, so that's exactly what a uh, a real uh, Cuban Sigla Six box, and this is the uh, the fake Cuba uh, Cuba Cohiba Sigla Six box. So hope you guys enjoyed that. But for now, uh, we're gonna cut loose and we're gonna go down and probably get some coffee at a coffee shop and uh, show our friends around that just got into town for the first time in Cuba. So thanks for watching guys, and we'll catch you guys down the road.